Bet on aces. Ace country. And Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell and news across Nevada with Janet Eric. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Maybe one day, you know, this project will rival Arlington. Veteran Alan Bigelow has had a long road to get to where he is today. This area, the ceremonial grounds, has taken about two years to get into place, and it's taken a lot, a lot of man hours. Man hours he's been happy to donate. It means a lot to me to be able to, to give back to the other servicemen and, and women of our country uh, and to make sure that they have a place where their families can come to and, and be proud to come and see them. And with Veterans Day nearly here, he took us for a tour of the site. But as we progress, what we're going to end up doing is creating a real showpiece for Pahrump, something that our town can really be proud of. As you can see in the video, they have a large lot getting ready to be the final resting place for Pahrump's fallen veterans. We're going to be able to bury almost 200 service people in graves, as well as just about a thousand, maybe a little bit over a thousand, uh, in, the, in the columbarium. And their goal is to have veterans laid to rest here by late spring of 2010. They also want to build a cover to ease the heat during the summer months and say that any help from the community would be greatly appreciated. Just come and be a part of it. Uh, we've got some subcommittees and things that we're working on and they're working very hard to get this done. Work that will continue with the help of donors, people that Allen is very grateful to. As a veteran, I mean, I just I just want to say thank you to all the other veterans and thanks to all the people that have supported this project because this is a really big deal. He also wants us to remember the troops and pray for them and, and hopefully we see them all home real soon. For News 41, I'm Ariel Gove.